physics now getting back to normal versus the new normal. The Democrat Party mainstream media cabal is working on never returning to what we knew as normal. This grouping of Marxist socialists wants the, quote, new normal, and it is using the coronavirus as an excuse to forever change our freedoms and our liberties in this republic, and they are poised to shame this president for the mere thought of returning to campaign normal. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, what if this is bigger than Corona? What if it's even bigger than the response by these blue state governors? And this is laying a foundation and maybe already starting to implement more than just a foundation. Maybe this is the infrastructure for the complete and total makeover of America into that Marxist socialist paradigm that George Soros and Saul Alinsky and the Soviet Union wanted for all these years. Yeah, I think you're really, really getting close to the hidden story, Graham, as you and I have discussed. There were a couple of Columbia University sociologists in the 60s named Cloward and Piven who came up with a radical revolutionary plan to destroy the way the government deals with poor people. They came up with the idea, if you overwhelm the government's ability to solve problems, people will demand and institute a revolution to change the economy. That is exactly what we are seeing now. The collapse of the government's ability to solve a problem that the government created. The government has got to get out of the way or the people will have a revolution in the streets because they demand food, they demand the right to congregate, they demand right. the right to work, and they demand the right to protest their government in spite of certain governors that don't seem to think the Constitution, well, doesn't apply to and, them anymore. And this is their moment, uh, Barry. As you pointed out, uh, Cloward uh, Piven, Cloward, Clover, who cares um, it, it, how they pronounce it? This is their moment, and their moment to potentially implement this strategy that's been floating out there for many, many years. And it reads this, overloading the U.S. public welfare system in order to precipitate a crisis that would lead to a replacement of the welfare system with a, quote, guaranteed annual income. So this is, we're already seeing this, right? We're guaranteeing an income right now for people to stay home. But if you think this is crazy and fantastic, all you have to do is go to the Communist Party USA website and read an article in there where they're saying, yes, they're cheerleading, yes, now is the time to strike. Oh, I, I read it this morning at your suggestion. It's startlingly honest. They are talking about the destruction of the capitalist system. They want it gone. They're pushing for the same structure that worked so well, Graham, in the Soviet Union. East Germany, Venezuela, North Korea, and communist China. And they're bragging that's what they are working towards. And yep. sadly, the U.S. representatives who are sitting in Washington now are parroting those words. Yeah. Look, Cloward Piven's revolution collapsed New York in the 60s when the welfare system overwhelmed itself and New York City declared bankruptcy. Right. They are doing the same Thing now, who in their right minds think there's going to be enough money to pay this debt off? When you Personally, this is going to be a mess we're never going to fix. Right. When you start spending trillions of dollars that don't exist and you start printing money, you are necessarily overwhelming the system. Barry, thank you.